Hi there, my name is Mark Buckholz and I work for the BC Libraries Cooperative. This video has been created to show how to create a new report template from scratch. The first step is to choose a template to create your new template in. So click on my Mark template and then we'll drag the cursor over to the right here. Click on create a new template for this folder. The next step is to create a source where we're going to get our data from. Now, in this case, we're going to choose the item source because I want to create a report that will display the call number, title, and barcode for the new items added in the last month. Now, you're not always going to know at first what source to choose, but uh, as you use the reporter over time, you'll become more familiar with what source is the one to choose for what you want to do. Now, a little tip about the sources. If you click on the source right here, it will show the fields that belong to that source in the right here. If you click on the arrow to the left of the source, it will show you other sources that are linked to the source that you're currently on. So if you don't find the field that you're looking for on the right here, then you know that it's in another source and you can click on the arrow to the left of your current source and, and go down and start looking. Let's add the fields that we want to display. Before we start, we want to go down here where these tabs are right here and make sure that displayed fields is highlighted as opposed to base filters. So you can see, you go back to displayed fields. So the first field that we want to display is the call number. Now, the call number is a field that's showing up under the item source but you can see the data type says link. We don't want that because what that means is the call number really does not live in the item table. It lives in another table and this is just a link. So that means we want to go over here and look at the list of sources that are linked to the item source. And you can see that there is one called call number volume. So I'm gonna click on that. And then over to the right, and our list of fields that uh, belong to that source. You can see that there's one called call number label, and you can see that instead of the data type being link, it's text, so it means it's the actual text of the label. Now this final column here called field transform just gives us the option to display the data that we want in its raw data form, or in lowercase, or the first value, or the last value. So in our case, we just want to display the raw data. And then I click on add selected fields and you can see that my display field shows up down here under my list of displayed fields. The next field that we want to add is the title and to get to the title we go through the call number source then we go through the bib source and within the bib source there's several other sources and one is called simple record extracts and here's where you can look at your simple bibliographic fields like author, ISBN, ISSN, publication year, and so on. So we're going to go down to title and highlight that. And once again, we just want to choose the raw title data. Add that field. So you can see we've now got two fields down here in our displayed fields list. And the last one that we want to add is the barcode field. Now, the barcode field is actually in the item source, and you can see here it is, and it's a text field, not a link field, so that's good. We just want to display the raw barcode, so we're going to add that. So now we have our three display fields. The next step is to click on the Base Filters tab, which is telling the system that we're going to be adding some filters as opposed to display fields. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to weed out any deleted items. We don't want those showing up in our report. So there is a field in the item source called is deleted. It's a Boolean field, which means true or false. So we're going to click on raw data, add that selected field, and we're going to do something different here. We're going to change, or we'll highlight it first, then we're going to change the value because we want to change the value to false. So it says if you want false, you click on cancel. And so now what this means is uh, is deleted equals false. So that means that we're only getting items that uh, are not deleted, which is what we want. The next filter that we want is we want to limit 
the items that display to our organizational unit. And that is up here. So the circulating library is our organizational unit. We're going to add that. And we're going to highlight it because we want to change the operator in this case on this one. And we want to choose the in list option. What that means is that we run our report later when we run it, that there'll be a list of organizational circulating library units that will show up. And from that list, we will choose our library. The last filter that we want to add is when the item was added. So we're going to choose create date time. So you can see that's a timestamp type field. And we just want it in its raw date format. We don't want like the day of the month or the day of the week. We just want the whole date. So we're going to add that. And we're also going to change something about the default here. So we'll highlight it. And we're going to change the operator to greater than or equal to. And what that means is that when we go to run our report, there's going to be a calendar that's going to pop up. And we're going to choose the date that we want. And then it's going to output any item records that are greater than or equal to that date. The final step is to give our report a name. So we can call it whatever we want. Items added after a certain date. Now the description field is optional. Oops, spelled that wrong. But in the description field, you could put things like we were excluding deleted items. Um, and it's, you know, after a certain date, uh, you could put um, the list of fields that you're displaying if you want, the title, the call number. So whatever you want, it's just if you want to add some extra information. Now we want to save our report. So we click on save, say OK, and it says OK. And now when we go back into our list of templates, and I go into my Mark template, you can see that we've got our new report here called items added after a certain date. So the final step is just uh, you would call this report up and you would run it. And that is covered in another video. Thank you. Bye.